Hey all, it's me Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and today I'm once again going to show you a ton of outgoing mail. I basically made a little video clip of mail I sent out over the last couple of months and I put them all together in this video. You also saw one of my or our two cats, Noose, who likes to be with me when I craft. This first meal went to my pen pal Roxanne. Um, what I show you here is actually a little envelope or a gift bag I made with tracing paper. Uh, it's normally just milky white and I stamped on top of that with different stamps and green, black and grey ink. I thought that actually looked really, really cute. Uh, hello. <laughs> and um, the reason why I'm showing you this meal, although there's no like crafty element in it, is because well, there is a little bit of a crafty element in it, which is like the handmade gift bag. But I, like so many times people tell me, I'm not good at crafting, but I want to do pen pal letters. And this is basically to show you that. Um, yeah, basically you can put a lot of love into meal without having certain skills, I guess is what I'm trying to say. These are all items I, picked for my pen pal Roxanne because I knew she was going to like them. I said I kind of um, <clears throat> collected them over the duration of a couple of months um, when I was waiting to reply to her because I knew they would match her and I, at least I hope that she was able to tell that I put a lot of thought into this um, even though there was no crafty element. So I guess I kind of wanted to share that with you guys as well. Um, oh yeah, and then this is just a teeny tiny sneak peek of a mail I sent to my pen pal Emilia already like a long time ago. And the reason why this is just a tiny sneak peek is because I made a video from that mail. So I just did a sneak peek so that I can tell you guys to watch the video. Uh, and this is the envelope that I made with it. Um, I did distress oxides around that white space and then I stamped and I colored in the stamps. Actually looking at that, I really want to do that again. And this is again, same thing, um, a little sneak peek of a mail I did. This one I made for Kaylee, which was a subscriber mail and I did a video of that as well. So once again, <laughs> a little sneak peek and I'm going to link that video down below. <clears throat> These are a couple older clips you can also see in the background if you look real closely. This is still in our old house. Um, this is a Project Life card from Maggie Holmes, I believe, and I basically put a collage, made a collage on top of that. And then I um, put a bag of goodies and my letter on the back of the Project Life card. So just like a teeny tiny uh, crafty element, I guess. This was to show you guys that I forgot to actually film the inside of the envelope um, because that also happens. I just forget to film it and then... And then this one, I believe I did show you this in a different video. This is just a second clip. <clears throat> then adorable little hedgehog. I absolutely love that envelope. The envelope itself, like the gray, uh, I mean the green with the hedgehog is from La Papiere. I make unboxing videos of La Papier's um, letter writing paper subscription each month and I absolutely love that and then I stamped on top of it a little bit to make it a little bit more me. And then I'm just showing you the goodies I included such as that Pip Sticks sticker and then some feather die cuts and some other stickers and that is so cute. That's actually a die I have. It's like a tiny envelope with a heart closure. I'm going to open it with one hand. Sorry for the shakiness of this video. Like I said, I'm doing everything with one hand. And then I filled that up with some goodies. Cute. And I've been making a lot of these envelopes, first of all, because I think they're really, really cute. And also because I just like using them to add some goodies to a letter, you know. And some Project Life cards. And this one went to J. Dean, if I haven't said that already, in Australia. Um, that was a subscriber mail reply as well. And um, I keep track of my 
outgoing mail with a photo diary app and people ask me about this all the time it's not sponsored or anything this is just i found finally found something that works really really well for me and that's a photo diary app so my app is called diaro but if you type in photo diary app in your app store you should be able to find it any kind you like and then i just take the take a picture of the outgoing mail and the envelope and then I write if it's a pen pal or a subscriber mail or a I don't know swap or anything. And then I can keep track of all of my outgoing mail. So that's what I'm looking at while I'm uh, going through this video. I have to see the envelope to remember. Oh yes, okay, I already know who this went to. Cute. So this is again a sneak peek of a video that is still coming. Maybe I should not include it. I think this one went to Heather, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this one should have gone to Heather in the USA. I'm really hoping it has arrived. Like I said, that is a little sneak peek of a project uh, I did for a video, which I'm very, very excited to show you guys. Um, and then these are some of the goodies I included and the envelope. And that little baggie I showed you is a Rooibos Vanilla Tea, which is my current favorite tea. It's a loose leaf tea, so I made it a little paper bag. I really hope that's okay for Heather. Um, of course, I transferred it right from the tea bag to the paper bag, you know, to keep it clean and all. This is one of my favorite meals I've done in a while. This one went to Anne in England or the UK. Um, it's one of the smaller ones I've done in a while. Hey, I'm wearing the same pants as I'm wearing during the voiceover. Okay, what I was saying is it's one of the smaller meals I've done. It, it was only one stamp, which is 20 grams. And what I did is I colored in a postcard and then I included a bunch of goodies and I stamped on some vintage book pages. Uh, and I put all of that in a clear plastic bag to kind of send uh, a little bit extra with the postcard without making it too heavy. So as you can see, you can already get a sneak peek of the, oh, this is going great, <laughs> my handwriting. Um, so you can already see what's in the envelope from the outside because it's clear. I actually really, really like that. I've done it once after this as well. I don't know if I made a video of that, but otherwise you will see it in a video soon. Then the next one I'm showing is this one to Maria Magdalena in Bulgaria. I made a, an envelope from a vintage map page, basically vintage map. And then this is another project that goes with the project to Heather, which is in the same video. So this is just a little sneak peek, you know, so that you guys are hopefully <laughs> interested in that video. Um, I don't know when this video is going to be online. Honestly, I've been kind of behind with everything. I still upload videos every Monday and Friday, but it's a little bit difficult because, especially now, the Monday, Monday used to be my day off, but it's not anymore. I actually picked up a regular shift on Monday, which is from 12 to 10. So that's a long day. Uh, oh, by the way, if you're paying attention, you have already seen this meal, but I just wanted to showcase. I just wanted to put in this clip as well, because this is the envelope I sent to Roxanne. It's just empty now so that you can more clearly see the stamping I did. And you can also more clearly see that I used copper, um, copper ink, which looks really, really cool. <laughs> Um, this is an envelope I did for my cousin's girlfriend, actually. Um, I'm not really good in keeping up with everyone's lives through WhatsApp. I'm not very much of an online person, you might have guessed it. Uh, so she actually started writing me postcards and I write back to her and um, that's how we keep uh, track of each other's lives. And I made her this envelope with the stress, the stress oxides and stencil paste and I don't know what else and gold shimmer and all that and then I also wrapped it in a clear bag just like the one I did for Anne and I put in some golden stars <laughs> but yeah like I was saying Monday is now a very busy day how cute is that die cut so I'm editing on Sunday so I don't know if this is going to work I might actually change my regular uploading date to Tuesday I don't know yet 
Um, but that's just, that's a story for a different time, I guess. This is the pen pal booklet, the pen pal letter booklet I made for my pen pal Emilia. I did a video on that as well, so I'm going to link that down below if you want to check out how to make a super cute little notebook for your letter with goodies. It's actually one of my most popular videos this month, if not the most popular. And then those are some stickers I sent to her um, and I just decorated the packaging. And this is a special gift. I'm now going to show you what is in it because I have it myself as well. So I wrapped it up already and then, come on Vivian, you can do this. Yes, okay, I sent her the die of the heart album. Thingy, I don't know, I sent her that. Um, and I, I really hope she liked that because it was her birthday and um, I don't, I always forget people's birthdays but um, when it has been my pen pal's birthday I like to include something a little bit extra special. Oh, by the way, don't hate me for forgetting people's birthdays. Um, I just, I kind of live in a bubble sometimes, I guess. The last meal I'm showing you today is this one which went to Courtney in the United States again. Um, this is a PO Box reply. I have a new die. I love those little pocket dies. So it makes that little pocket and then you can also cut out a little uh, piece of paper to layer on top of it. And what I did is I put a bread, a heart-shaped bread through the top, which I, I really like the look of. And then I attached a piece of string to the bread, as you can see, um, with some washi tape samples on it, which I thought looked really, really cute. And then inside I just put a lot of little goodies in a pretty vellum envelope. I also included some more of those pretty um, note papers, like memo sheets, and some more goodies, such as pip sticks, stickers. And this is how I decorated the envelope with some of my favorite stamps. The snail mail stamps really are my favorite. And that stamp on top, the bird one, is really kind of special because I think I've already said this a thousand times but if you download a certain app you can scan the stamp and you can actually listen to the bird which I think is pretty cool okay so that's it for today I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends leave a comment down below if you want to comment anything down below and I will see you again very very soon thank you so much for your continued support um if you were in any way inspired by this, feel free to share your project with hashtag the paper letter blog on Instagram. I would love to see what you guys create. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.